about preparation for a second. And and you were a JUCO transfer. Uh, you, you started out at JUCO, JUCO um, and then I, I look at the code that's is not even that, That's not even a half of it. Like, uh huh. It shows on there in 2019, like junior college. But I actually went to a junior college my, out of high school, 2005. You know what I'm saying? So I went and I basically like my well started back what my junior and senior high school. I missed five games each year because because of, of uh, ineligibility with my grades and stuff. So I had to go the JUCO route. I pretty much flunked out of that, had a son. So, you know, at the age 19, you know, I'm having a son. So I dropped out of junior college. And then I was just doing whatever, bro. I mean, I'm working at warehouses. I'm working at Babies R Us, Toys R Us. I mean, all type of stuff, uh, you know, doing all kind of crazy stuff with my homie. You know what I'm saying? My best friend, he, he like he like my brother, really. Yeah. But, I mean, we doing all kind of crazy stuff. We not, you know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? Like, we not <laughs> Things you can't talk about. <laughs> and, and, you know, I, I kind of went through this downward, down, downward spi spiral for like three years. And it wasn't until my best friend got out of jail, you know what I'm saying? He had to do, he had to do a couple years. He was like, man, like, we need to be playing football. So that was why at the age of 21, I actually went back to junior college after being out of the three years. And then I got a scholarship, and then everything just kind of started falling into place from there. But just yeah. kind of that whole process, like, uh -huh. you know, there was a lot of adversity that I had to kind of fight through for real. And, and, okay, so that that's that's literally – so it was it was more so – like I think one of the things that a lot of people uh, – I'll put it this way. I'll put it on me because I'm not going to speak for anybody. One of the things like when you when you grow up, bruh, and, and people talk about, man, reminiscing, I could have made it. I could have made it to the league if I did X, Y, Z. But they don't take into account the shit that people went through that they had to go through on a daily basis, sacrifices that they had to make to try and make it to the league. A lot of people don't take that into account. I don't know what the hell people go through. And, and I'm trying to figure out, like, from you, a person, like I was saying, like, that JUCO transfer, you made it, uh, even if you made it to the to the Jets and you was there for a season, like, you still made it to the NFL, bruh. And that's that's an accomplishment that a lot of motherfuckers don't make, bruh. They don't, they, they cannot get there. They can't make it to the league. And, and what are those sacrifices, if you had to name a couple, like, what are those things that people aren't really taking into account that you, that you may have to do or the things that you went through to try and make, to put yourself at that top tier level? Man, I, I think what I look at it like with anything in life, right? Like anything that like, you know, you, you gotta bet on yourself and, and you can't you can't make excuses. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do the things that you don't wanna do. Feel me? And and if you put in the time and you do those things, then that's when a lot of things will come for you. I, I you know, I run my own businesses between my, you know, training my athletes and then all my streaming and podcasts and stuff. And it's it's all on me. Like I don't have a set like Oh, hey, Croc, you gonna make this type of salary, or you gonna make this? It's like now, like if I'm not grinding or I'm not hustling, then I'm not gonna be able to put food on the table. So I think uh, there are a lot of people that are scared to one bet on themselves, and 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 they they have like small vision, right? Like for instance, I, I started up a Patreon a couple months ago, right? A Patreon account. I don't know if y'all know what Patreon is, but I I've heard of it. I'm not account. too familiar with it. Yeah, and so it's basically a subscription thing. People pay for a certain type of analysis or whatever, right? It's kind of like OnlyFans, but like okay, a, a okay, professional. Yeah. I heard of OnlyFans. I'm kind of familiar with that now. All right, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know, so I started off. I got I got one person signed up. Boom. Okay, but I'm putting in work, breaking down these videos during the draft process, banging them out, putting in four or five hours, however long, six hours it takes me to put together one video, you know what I'm saying? And I only got one person signed up for $10, like, you know what I'm saying? Then next thing you know, I got 10 people signed up, 20 people signed up, 50 people, 100 people, 100 some people, you know what I'm saying? But I know like, because of a lot of my past things and like getting to the NFL, like you gotta take one step at a time. And me getting to the NFL wasn't a one year process. It was several years put together. And then to have that one moment to put my name on that dotted line, you know what I'm saying? So now I take everything like with that same type of focus and understand it, it is really a process with everything. And you gonna have to bet on yourself. There's gonna be some low moments, but if you do it right and you stay and you keep your head down, then you can ultimately get to where you wanna get to, but you are gonna have to really make a lot of sacrifices. And I think people, they say they willing to do that, but I don't think people really willing to do that though. Like, I don't think people really willing to like Really bet on themselves. I don't. I don't think they like, fully you know, aware. I had. I had quit my job. You know what I'm saying? My wife like, like, oh, why you quit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could have saved up more money or whatever. And I'm like, nah, I just gotta go in and do it. And next thing you know, I trained hella kids in the entire area. When I started, I ain't had no kids. And it took me 
put my back against the wall and believing that I can build something out of this. And then boom, now, you know what I'm saying? It's growing and we're about to build a, a 12,000 square foot sports performance facility right here from the ground up. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It should be done by August, but like, you got to You got to bet. You know what I'm saying? You got to bet on yourself. Like, and that's just my mindset for real. People ain't willing to do that. They, they rather make an excuse, excuse as to why they couldn't do this or do that. And that's why a lot of times they don't get to the places that they want to get to. Hey, we found the name for the title of this podcast, fellas. This episode is Bet On Yourself.